Uh, Cody, first off, I want to say that I love you more. Um, so I win. Hopefully you didn't say that too. Um, the last, I don't know, six and a half years with you have been absolutely incredible. And we've made it to this day. And I'm just so looking forward to the rest of my life with you. Um, I love that he always knows when I need a glass of wine after work. And whenever I come home and I've had a bad day, he's there with a glass of wine and a smile and a hug. Uh, making me feel better. I love that no matter what we do, we're always going to be having fun. We're always going to be laughing. We're always going to be having a good time. Even when I'm having a bad day, he's going to be there to cheer me up. Today has been an absolute mix of emotions from excited, nervous, happy, but overall I'm just, I'm just so thrilled to be his wife and, and start our life together. I am most excited to sit and relax on the recliner uh, with Cody next to me and just relax after these hectic weeks, I guess. I'm excited to always have a travel buddy. Um, for when I get called to go to a weird country, I'm always going to have a travel buddy to go with me. But even when I don't think he's there, he's going to be there for me. And it's always been a, a, a tough lesson to think that no one's there for you, but he's always been there for me, and I know he always will be. Cody, I love you, and we're going to be married soon, and I'm so excited about it. Hey, I haven't seen you today. I'm sure you look great. Uh, a year ago, we decided we wanted to do this today, and now we're finally here. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. You don't have to stress anymore. It's almost over. Everything's better. Determination, get things done the way she wants to do it. She doesn't give in. She doesn't give up. I definitely like that she challenges me to always want to be better than I was the day before. So it's a big mental thing for me, and I love that she's very supportive of me no matter what I do, and I'm supportive of her. It's just how we just, we just go together like that. A little bit of both, it's, I am nervous, but I know it's a good nervous. I'm not nervous something bad's gonna happen. It's just nerves of, of today being the big day, all things to go right. The next step in the adventure, really, it's just where we go from here. We. We've already started our lives. We've been together for six years, so it's we've already got that part over with. Now we're just keep picking directions and where we want to go. We can travel. We want to travel. That's what we want to do. Ten plus years, just seeing honestly, seeing where we're at, see where the choices that we're making now, where we're going to land later. Are we still going to be doing the same thing? I hope so. I love traveling with her, and I know she's enjo she enjoys traveling. It's just. And just being around each other, making the memories together is what counts. I've learned that out of the military, I'm used to structure and just being, hey, do this, get it done, do this, get it done. She likes to do things different ways than what I'm used to. So I've learned to just have patience with myself and say, okay, she's going to do it her way. I need to let her do that without being a sergeant, just being myself. I said uh, it wouldn't be too cheesy today, so I won't be too cheesy yet. But we'll, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad it's finally here because now she's going to take my last name, and it's, I'm happy. Today we observe the union of Cody and Sarah in holy matrimony, a commitment they have chosen to undertake with all the sincerity that it warrants.
with a solid foundation from which to grow, they have made the decision to take the oath of marriage and spend the rest of their lives together. May we treasure these memories as Cody and Sarah, under the eyes of God, get set to begin their new life together. As you learn to live as one, you will encounter many challenges that can help you grow. Spend, to spend time doing the things that make life precious, cooperate with each other, always make time to laugh together, and never lose appreciation for the love that you share. By the power vested in me by the state of Arkansas, I pronounce you, Cody and Sarah, as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. Cody, you may now kiss your bride. The Bible makes note of the power of partnership. It reminds us that two are better than one because they are good a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. All right, Sarah, Cody, congratulations. Uh, hope you have a good life together. And uh, Sarah, keep doing great stuff and be you. So good luck. Love you. See ya. Congratulations on getting married. I'm so grateful that you, Sarah, are part of our family, and I'm grateful that you've taken in Kennedy and Mason like they're kids of your own. And I can't wait to celebrate with you guys, and thank you, I love you. Hey, congratulations from your favorite brother. Congratulations, Sarah and Cody. Cody, welcome to the Orlowski family. Can you say love, you guys? Congratulations, you guys. Love you, and um, always be happy and never go to bed mad. All right. Hey, guys. Um, just remember to enjoy it. You're finally stress-free from the day. Uh, you guys did great, no matter how nervous you were or whatever happened. And, you guys can use that same energy to recover from just about anything. Just remember to uh, rely and focus on each other. And I have complete faith in you guys that you guys are going to be great together as you already are. So uh, just remember to have fun. Thank you, Sarah and Cody. I love you so much. Uh, thank you for having the Ozark IPA. That was my request. I love you both. Um, I love that your office door is right down the hall from mine. I love you both. And thank you so much for having me be a part of your wedding. And I look forward to being with you together. Thanks.